I love seeing like when friends that we like kind of grew up with are like doing their own thing. That's why when I seen yeah like, what you're doing, and then we were just talking a bit before this, but like our other friends, like what what they're doing, and I just think it's so cool. Like, and I think sometimes it sucks because it's like you don't talk to people for a long time. So when you reach out, sometimes it looks like it's just kind of like ulterior motive to it. Cause it's like, oh, now that I see you're doing something now I'm reaching out. But yeah. I feel like when you put yourself on a platform like this, it's like, and you're so out there and I, I keep seeing it, I keep seeing it. And, but like, I'm actually liking the content. I can't help like whether we spoke or haven't spoken. I have to say something about it because I would want that kind of recognition if I was doing something and people were actually enjoying the content that I was putting out. So every once in a while to like certain people that I've seen are actually doing stuff. I just get excited for them. Cause I'm like, that's so nice for that sure. like you're doing something that you're passionate on and like, you're actually following through and like keeping up with it. Yeah. That's such a healthy yeah. attitude to have, you know, that's something that we have to instill in a lot of us. Um, I know like we with social media, right. With the environment, we're kind of like the society we're raised, uh, naturally we get competitive in the sense that we're not doing enough. Um, even if we don't want to come across as competitive, we, we are right. We're comparing, uh, we're contrasting. We're saying like, where am I at what point in the journey? Uh, why is that person farther ahead of me, uh, than I am, you know, with my career. But I think that attitude is something that, uh, we can all learn from is, you know, be happy for people that, you know, you've, you've known, you've been right. friends with, you know, like 100%. see them prosper. Cause you know, you and I were talking before the podcast, like a lot of the guests that I, I've had, um, you know, quite recently, like, uh, Daniel Chan, you know, went to high school mm -hmm. with him. One of the first things I brought up to him is, you know, I didn't even know you were in photography. Uh, and he's like, I didn't know he had a passion for it. And apparently he always had a passion for it. He just yeah. told me the honest truth. That's something that I always kept to myself is in high school, especially how, like the generation we were raised with um they didn't really care for the arts like the predominant right. thing to talk about conversation was sports and that's something that you probably would find very interesting is i don't know if you have this feeling this notion but my sister who's like five years younger than me gen considered a gen z their generation like high school they were getting encouraged to like go into the singing program and like create right. tracks on spotify while they were playing soccer and some people didn't even play soccer and they had a podcast you know what i mean so it's like yeah. when we were in high school you know not for anything like everyone was different but how I remember high school, it's like 21 Jump Street style. You know, like Channing Tatum walks in with the backpack. <laughs> Are you Channing <laughs> Tatum? Yeah. I'm trying, I honestly, <laughs> <laughs> some people would argue I'm not, but um, <laughs> I just lost my voice. Um, but I'm walking, I tell my sister all the time, I joke around. I'm like, you're like Jonah Hill and I'm Channing Tatum when they walk into the school. And like Dave Franco's like, yo, I hate professional sports. Such a fascist, like piece of shit, like system. And he's just like, what do you, he's like, I hate high school. He's like, what is this? And that's how I was like, when I hear my sister's friends talk, when I even bring them on the podcast and they were like, you know, one of them was telling me like, yeah, my boys were always supportive of my dream. Like, you know, I was in the rap sing dance, uh, you know, uh, vocal program and I was singing and I'm saying to myself, what, what high school is that? Oh, St. E's? It changed in like five years. That's crazy. Right. Like, again, when we were in high school, people didn't talk like that. People dropped out of the rap program for fear of judgment. So Literally, honestly, I feel like, and it's so funny because our school was so heavily about the arts so you would mm -hmm. think that like even in just in our own world of like being within those walls we ourselves would just think like yeah if I wanted to do this it's something I could do because we were surrounded by it daily but even ourselves like being there like I remember being in drama being like like why am I doing this like I'm not going to do anything with this like what am I doing like I remember just always think that like why I'm not going to be like an actor so why am I in the drama program like I just would think all these like random things because I was I would never think that that would be like a career you know what I mean? Whereas yeah. now it's like you do like a seven second TikTok yeah. and you're making millions and for doing like a little skit or something like on a yeah. TikTok. So it's just crazy that like for us, it was like we were judging ourselves so heavily on certain things being like, oh, that's not going to make me money or that's not going to do anything. And now it's like so encouraged to like be creative and step out of that kind of traditional nine to five job that people thought that we should have. Yeah, there's a, and you said it right on the right on the nose, like there's so many people that in high school, like I talked to now where I kind of wish like we're both 27. So you see like people in their 20, like 22, 21, like clients I deal with colleagues, whatever have you. And they're, you know, further along in their career as an actor, as a director, whatever have you. And I say to myself, damn, like because of social media, that incentive was there. You know what I mean? Like to drive them to push them. Like social media was around when we were in high school, but I only remember it as something to invite people at parties or like, 
for the girls, right. I think. Was post like, your lunch. like <laughs> Yeah, post your lunch or like, don't buy yeah. my prom dress or I'll kill you. You know what I mean? But there was <laughs> no... No, but, <laughs> no, but really. No, really, but really. Really, really. And wait, <laughs> has there been any stories oh, that some... Oh, there was idiot, one. We had a group like that in grade 12. I remember saying, I, I remember those kind of like groups though and stuff though, where people will just have like use social media just for like that kind of stuff. It wasn't necessarily for us to like create content. Like we created yeah, for ourselves. Yeah. We weren't yeah. creating for like an, an audience. It was just yeah. like, let me take a picture of it. Like, I remember if I go through, I have a picture on my, like, I don't even know why I ever did this on my Instagram. What? I have a picture and it's like, of like, I think it was superhero day at our school or something. Oh and I God. remember I was like, obsessed you're a fan with of the Spider-Man. green lantern. Oh, no, I thought you were going to say green lantern. We'll get you into didn't that. You know me. Oh.